Um, I've got three of my children are going to be baptized along with me tonight. My name is Dale Gunner, and I have been waiting for this for 16 years. <laughs> Um, I, guess, I guess I have to explain that a little bit real quick is that uh, I was born and raised in the Catholic faith and we do not do this at our church. <laughs> they just put it, you know, they just kind of pour the water over your head. But I was born again and spirit filled in 77 and this desire has been with me about two years after I got born again and spirit filled. And I had always heard, I didn't know how true it was, but I had always heard that in the other Protestant churches, in order to be baptized, it was part of their um, membership. So I always asked the Lord, God, please let this open the door for me. Two, I think it was the week before I heard about the revival. Because through, the, through these 16 years, uh, I have um, had that desire come back and forth on me. And the week before I heard about the revival, um, you know, I had asked the Lord, God, please make a way for me to be baptized in this way, as the word says. And the week later, we came Friday, and Pastor Kilpatrick, I think, said that we baptize on Thursdays and Fridays. So I went, praise God. <laughs> so praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My name is Joshua Gunner, and I'm 12 years old, and I've been through a lot of accidents. And thanks to the Lord, I'm back to my normal self through everyone. And I'm thanking the Lord by rededicating my life to Him. Amen. My name is Mercedes Gunner, and I came here to praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Christian, and all I have to say is I love Jesus. I'm Lowell Thomas. I'm from uh, Pineview Methodist, and I'd just like to praise God for my brother Eric here, and for for Brownsville Assembly of God and the in the revival that you that you brought here. And, and I praise God that He's here in our presence right now. Vonda Thomas. That was my husband. I go to Pineview United Methodist Church. My name's Daniel Faircloth. 
I confess that I accepted Christ back in 79, but I never really had any victory in my life. I was always looking for happiness and looking for love in the things of the world. And I got caught up in a lot of drugs and drinking and partying, chasing women. I, had, I was in major bondage to pot and, and lust, and I was, I was seeking the Lord, but I just I never knew how to love Him. I never knew how the Lord could love me. And I went through so many things here recently, and I made up my mind, I'm going to sell out to Jesus Christ, no matter what it takes. And I, since I started coming to these revival services, I have experienced complete deliverance in every area, everything that has ever held me in bondage. And I'm, I'm, I'm madly in love with my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's good for you. My name is Destiny, and I'm glad that the Lord has brought my family to Brownsville. Matthew. Praise God. Go, Praise Lord. God. Come on, man. Hi, I'm Eva, and um, I'm from Pennsylvania. I just moved down here two months ago, and um, I was baptized 17 years ago just strictly to become a member, and, and um, so I want to do the real thing. My name is David Stolfus. That was my wife you just saw. I've been baptized. I was also was baptized about 16 years ago. And it's also for the, to join a church. But I praise God. He is so real to me tonight. And I just love him. Just pray for me. I'm Paula Diane Rollins, and the one thing that I want to say is that I want to thank the Lord for never giving up on me and dealing with me for such a long time. And I finally made that move Monday night, and I'm so thankful that I did. And I want to thank Him for never giving up on me.
Hi, my name is David Nesser, and I just want to bless the Lord for what he showed me and for bringing me back to my family. My name is Melissa Bocott. About a year and a half ago, the Lord came to me and told me that I was going to be healed during a baptismal. I had suffered a medical condition at the time. Last week on a Friday, I was scheduled to be baptized. Two blocks from here, I was, I, saw, I was involved in a car accident. And little did I know that the Lord healed me right there. <laughs> And uh, I just want to add for everyone out there who buy lottery tickets, I'm receiving the jackpot tonight. <laughs> Praise God. Hi, my name is Robert Goodsell, and um, I don't know, it, I just want to say that there's no yoke or there's no bondage that Jesus Christ can't break. I mean, I, I was like a prisoner, and I was free. I would go to work and everything else. I wasn't even looking forward to leaving work, so that's how miserable I was. Um, payday, it just, everything was just an everyday thing. There was just no joy. There was no happiness. And I came here to Brownsville Assembly and went to Pace a couple of times. And, and you know, I started experiencing joy, and I, I, it was like a foreign feeling. Didn't even know what it was all about. And I heard a real gentle voice, and it just said, walk in the light. And I started looking through my Bible and everything and, and found out where it was. And, I mean, I just broke down and cried. And, and he, I don't know, he's just doing work on me that I, I just... Would, you know, just never thought I'd ever see the day that, that he'd do this for me. More well, Lord. I'm Melissa Shepherd, and it took a lot to get me here, but I'm living proof that the God does heal, and um, it took a lot for him to bring me here today, but I thank you, Jesus, and I, God bless him, and I thank him for everything he's done for me. I love you, Lord. Thank you. Pinkard. I go to Pineview United Methodist Church. I'm a little bit nervous, um, but I'm amongst all my family. I want to thank Jesus for what he's done in my life and for what's yet to come. Amen. Yes.
My name is Mary Paulette Brown, and I love the Lord with everything that's within me. Oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name. Pastor wants me to let you know that she came voluntarily. They didn't pull her in. Just <laughs> I'm Shannon Lutz, and I just thank the Lord for keeping me and preserving my family unto this day. And I look forward to seeing many more of his wondrous works. called baptism the following of the Lord Jesus was baptized by John in the River Jordan and at that point the Holy Spirit rested upon him and a voice from heaven spoke and said this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased and we believe that it's important we don't believe it's an option we believe it's important that you need to follow the Lord in water baptism and these folks who are coming right now have made rededications in their lives to the Lord. And they feel the need, some of them, just to rededicate and do their first works over. And some of them are knowing the Lord for the very first time. And I want you, amen. Amen. And I want you to do me a favor. I want you just to rejoice with them as they rejoice in the Lord. And I don't know who's helping us baptize Brother, give them a mic and let them introduce themselves. Dean Shumway, Brentwood Assembly of God. Glenn McCall, First Methodist East Bruton. Amen. And if we could get all of y'all. And yes. If we get all the folks in the choir loft to be seated, y'all can remain standing or sit down, whatever's comfortable for you, but I want you to rejoice with us. This is important, okay? God bless you. My name's Scott Kilpatrick. I've been baptized before when I was 12, and the Holy Spirit compelled me to do it again. And I kind of look at what's happened to me in the past month is the way Steve Hill 
when he takes his kids out on an outing, he, he puts on his dad hat, and the kids know it's time to spend time with dad. Well, the last time I checked, the Holy Spirit never took his hat off yet, and I'm forever grateful. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. My name is John Michael Kilpatrick, and I'm just thankful for this revival and what, and what God's done in my life. And I just want to seal the covenant between me and Jesus. And Jesus, I'm not going to turn back from you anymore. It's Anthony Taylor. Most of y'all know me as Big Tony. I just come to give the devil a black eye tonight. Rededicate my life to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. My name is Christopher Meredith. Cooper. 
her, and I'm just here to totally commit my life to Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. He can have me. He can do whatever he wants to do with me. I'm his forever. <laughs> My name is Vince Cooper. I was first baptized when I was nine years old. And through this revival, my life has been changed so much. And it's drawn me closer to God that I feel this is a good opportunity in my life to make a new and a fresh commitment to God. Bobby Prell. My name is Lori Register, and I'm thankful to be here tonight. Weekly, and um, what this revival has meant to me is uh, about a month ago I came forward and the Lord really dealt with me and I've rededicated my life to the Lord. Um, he's replaced my heart of stone and given me a heart of flesh again. Um, you know, I think about the Lord more than I've ever thought about Him in my life. And for the first time, my family and I, we have devotions every day. We pray every day. And we've taken back a lot of the territory that the devil's beaten us from. And um, he's just done so much in our lives. Um, uh, he's, he's touched my marriage. There's a richness in my marriage that I had never felt before. We've been married for 13 years, and it's, it's better now than it's ever been. And I just thank the Lord for what he's doing and the work that he's begun. I pray that he will continue. I lay down my corruptible spirit and bring forth the spirit of God. Thank you. to the Lord. All right. Hi, my name is Mel Ponder. Um, I am beyond words more thankful to be here than you can imagine. 
Um, as my wife will tell you, when she and I pray at times, I think I pray a lot of times that I'm more thankful for all the many things I have that the Lord has given me that I not nonstop take for granted and never realize that, hey, God has blessed me in so many ways that I just abuse and I'm, I need to stop doing that because I'm very thankful to have all he's given me. One thing the revival has done for me that is I've had a lot of trials and turmoils lately, uh, career-wise and in other ap aspects of my life. About the fourth or fifth time I was here, I usually sit in the back right corner. I felt, I felt like the Lord spoke to me, and it's a verse from the Bible, and my wife can tell you I'm not the one to be too well versed with the, <laughs> with the Bible. And it's not a full verse, it's from Psalms, 23rd Psalms, and he didn't take the full verse, he just took part of that verse and put it in my mind. He said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. And it was so great, because I felt so good about that, and although I'm still behind in what I'm doing career-wise, it's just a comforting feeling. And there again, I couldn't be blessed more. I'm more thankful for my wife, <laughs> my son. He was born in February of this year. Thank you, Lord. and I'm totally committing my life to the Lord. Yes, hallelujah. Yeah. Hello, I'm Coy Coleman. My name is John Stump. I come to the Lord 12 years ago, July 23rd, the most glorious day of my life. I've been baptized in water. I've been baptized with the fire of the Holy Spirit. But I tell you tonight, nothing compares to what I've witnessed tonight. And I just, I just want to make a, a challenge to all the men of this church and other churches. Go forth preach the gospel, but let it first begin at your household. How can you be a priest to your friends at work, to your co-workers, when they see you tear off out of the driveway of work and you're speeding down the road, driving like a... Everything on the ball field. We have church softball here, and, and I see other teams and other churches, and they just don't... They don't have... They just don't... If they really knew what the Savior did, they wouldn't act like they do. Well, tonight, I praise God for my pastor. I've been a deacon here for six or seven years. This man is upright. He stands before God, before this church. And a lot of you can't even make a commitment to pray. Well, I'm one of them. But I say tonight, before my wife, before my son Caleb will be baptized tonight, before my son Adam, before God and everybody, before Steve Hill, I want to make a new commitment. We can't stand up here and help during baptism and not be touched. Neither can you sit out there and not be touched by the baptism. So I expect next Thursday and Friday that you guys come and get baptized. One baptism's enough, but when you got the right heart and the right attitude, it's all you need. I want to thank the Lord. Hallelujah.
for my whole family, and, and I will believe in God. Yeah. yeah. My name's Bill Lutz, and I want to confess before the world that Jesus Christ is my Lord, my Savior, my very best friend. I want to thank the Lord for restoring the order of my family as Christ is the head. I want to thank him for his ever-loving mercy, his grace, his forgiveness for a sinner like myself. I want to thank him for the trials he's put me through, the hardships, the times I've fallen, because the Word of God says, the steps of a righteous man are ordered by God, and though he shall fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. Well, <laughs> church, we need to come to a point when and if we sin, which we're all sinners, fall short of the glory, that we exhale sin from our life. And as we earnestly repent, we breathe Jesus back in. And the more Jesus we breathe, the less sin is gone. <laughs> Tonight, as I'm baptized, I ask the Holy Spirit to search my heart. And if Satan has any grips or strongholds on my life, that as I go into this watery grave, they will be drowned and not be again on my life. Oh, I also ask that as I emerge from this water, I be a new creation in Christ. And I'd be as a piece of clay in the master's hands. Amen. And that he conform me to his likeness. That I have his forgiveness and everything that comes with him. I ask that from this night forward, every breath I take, every heartbeat, everything I do will be to glorify my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My name is Terry Franzone, and as far as what this revival has done for me, I was uh, joined the church and was saved about two years ago. And just as an illustration, as I grew over the two years closer to God, this revival just put me close. I love God with all my heart. And anything that, anything that I held on to, thinking that I didn't need to get rid of, like tapes and albums and I went home after the first couple of weeks and I had brand new CDs and stuff that I had never opened and I just loaded them all in the can and threw them all out my, my hardest trouble that I've had is anger and what brings it out the worst it, and for me is driving because there's <laughs> there's so many people that drive out there with no clue they're just <laughs> they're just driving and before I would just I'd tell them at the red light what they needed to do <laughs> and uh, since this revival it's it's calmed me down <laughs> and uh, a little illustration that came to my mind the other night when Steve Hill was talking about how we influence others um, the bumper stickers that everybody that has one has that bumper sticker influences people by the way you drive if the speed limit's 40 and you're doing 55 and they see, yes, Lord, we will ride on your bumper, <laughs> that's not a very good influence. And I just wish that everyone would uh, think about that if you have that on your, on your car, what kind of an influence you're giving to people. 
and I want more of the Lord. Bless the Lord, here, we here at Brownsville Assembly, we not only baptize, we give driving instructions. Man, listen, we do it all here. Wasn't that wonderful? made me uh, put me on fire for Christ because I last year in my ninth grade year at PHS I was just a little light bulb going on and off for Christ but this year I'm going full-fledged on fire for Christ I'm, uh, I'm Jeff Etley. From the very beginning, God has blessed me and done miracles for me. Miracle of birth and miracle of salvation. He's been so good to me, and all he's ever asked is my surrender to him and my obedience. Tonight, I'm going to obey him, follow him in water baptism, so that I can glorify him and that he can shine his light through me. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Can you give the Lord an ovation of praise tonight? tonight and invite you to have a good time in the Lord. The fun time has already began. <laughs> oh, the Lord is so good. Yes. We've had, I guess, 6,700 people or so saved yes. or recommitted to the Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Amen. Yes. And you know, 
On Thursdays and Friday evenings, we have a baptism time where we just take about 25 people each, each service on Thursdays and Friday evenings. And uh, tonight, being Friday, we're just going to rejoice as people follow the Lord in baptism. We're so excited about it. And if I get the choir to be seated, Brother Ken Summerall is going to be baptizing, and the other brother is... Hold it, hand him the mic. Turn it on. <laughs> Pulpit. We're hiring a new sound man tonight after the service. <laughs> His name is Brother Roy Speeden, and Brother Summerall is doing our baptismal service for us tonight. Thank you, Pastor. One moment, we're trying to make sure we have a microphone up there. heaven there'll be no wireless microphones the sound man is saying amen my name is John Maxted and for a lot of years, especially the past four years, I really tried to um, take control of my own life, and I tried to do things the way I thought it was, should be done. <laughs> and so many bad things happened to me, and it, it all went wrong. It wasn't, I was doing it for myself. I, uh, I got sick, I got deep in financial debt. I used to live to drink on the weekends. And then, finally this year, I, uh, accepted Jesus into my life and I have never felt so good in my whole life and things have never been so right and I'm just ready to be baptized and to, to proclaim that I'll live for him forever and do whatever he asks me to do amen Praise God. Maxted, and I'm just so thankful to be here. I was baptized when I was 13 with a sprinkling of water, and I'm so glad to be taking the plunge for Jesus Christ tonight. to say I want to give my, my life to Jesus.
My name is Patrick Tyner. Um, I grew up in a spiritually dead church, and I thought I was saved, and God brought me to the realization of salvation. And as a father, and as a husband, and as a youth pastor, or a youth teacher, I'm not a pastor, but I need God's power of the Holy Spirit to lead the youth in the direction that God would lead and so I just thank the Lord that he has called me out of the box that I grew up in, out of the box that I put him in. Bless the Lord. My name is Michelle Tyner. I'm really nervous. <laughs> um, I grew up in church, and uh, I guess I baptized when I was about 14, but my heart has just grown cold and critical, and uh, I've served God in the safe zones, you know, in church, with your family, at home. And uh, this revival has just been a breath of fresh life in me and I just thank God for it and I just publicly confess that he is the Lord and Savior of my life and that wherever he leads that I'll follow and I just am so hungry for him and whatever the cost I just love God praise God Hello, my name is Amber Tyne, and I just want to say I love the Lord. Amen. My name is Heather Schwartz, and I'm glad God brought my family to the revival. This, this is my this is my niece's little girl, and she called me the other day and said, "Daddy Ken, would you baptize me at Brownsville Assembly of God?" And I said, "Well, if you get the permission of the pastor, I will." And so they they gave me permission, and so it's a joy to baptize Heather Swartz. My name is Gary Roycroft. My name is Tracy Roycroft. Lord, I just want to say before the entire congregation that I thank you for welcoming me back with open arms after I've messed up and I've rejected you and I've played in the world. Lord, let this just be a special sign that I'm committed to you as a servant for the rest of my life. Lord, let this be an even bigger sign to Satan that I am dead to sin and he can no longer control me with it. Praise your name, Jesus. My name is Bobby Roycroft. 
I was baptized, I think I was about 13. I don't think I really understood what it meant. During this revival, I've come to fall in love with Jesus like I never knew him before. And when I come up out of this water, I expect to be totally dead to everything of this world. All the carnality, all the junk, all the worldliness. I want everything in me, everything on me, everything around me to be totally God. Praise God. <laughs> my name my name's Judy McCaslin and about a year ago Bobby my friend God gave her a vision gave me the details my covenant to God tonight I'm ready to get on about my father's business My name is Alec Gunner, and uh, I recently uh, rededicated my life, and all I have to say is I came to get down for the man. Bless the Lord. Mike LaCroix, and um, I've been going to Brownsville here for about two and a half years, and uh, I got saved in 1988. Shortly after that, I walked away from the Lord, and uh, then when I came back to the Lord, I, I felt like I needed to be rebaptized, but I felt like I didn't give the Lord 100% of my life. And I've had things in my life for over 20 years that even after I got saved, I didn't give them to the Lord until just recently. And it's because the Lord really forced me to bring them forward and I wanted to tell everyone here tonight, because even after I got saved and even called to the ministry, even more because of pride, I didn't want to give it to the Lord. I didn't want to come forward. And I want to tell you tonight, even especially during this revival, if you've got something that you've harbored in your life for years, you better give it to the Lord, because He's going to because He's going to bring it forward and make you deal with it. And and now, now I know that I'm totally set free by the power of God. And now when we sing that song, I'm free, praise the Lord, I'm free, no longer bound, no more chains holding me, I can sing that and mean it in my heart. And I, I know beyond a shadow of a, of a doubt now that, that, that whom the sun sets free is free indeed. And, and, and now, as I go into this water and come up, I know that I've given the Lord 100% of my life. My name's Melissa, and I just want to tell Jesus that I love him, and I'm grateful for everything he's done for me this past year. I don't know what my daughter and I would do without him. Yes. Yes.
Oh, my name is Phyllis South, and I'm so glad to be here tonight. The Lord Jesus Christ has completely healed me. He has set me free, and he's made me able to give him my whole heart. And I'm so grateful to him for this day. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Billy Caver, and I just want to rededicate my life to the Lord. Uh, sometimes we go out and we try to make it on our own, but you know, once you've had a taste of the good things of the Lord, there's nothing that replaces it. And I thank God for His grace. Jennifer. My name is Vonda Peden. 20 years ago, my father that's here tonight, Royce Peden, baptized me in Chipley First Assembly. And for part of those 20 years, kind of took things upon myself, my life. And I'm just here tonight to say goodbye to me and hello to a new life in Christ. Bless the Lord. Tom Burks out of Mobile. I used to be a Baptist. I don't know what I am now, but. Hallelujah. Okay. I came into this world unwanted. And I was to be killed in an electric chair and when I was 19, and the judge looked at me, and he said, I don't understand it, but he said, they've dropped all charges against you. And, and 10 years later, I met Jesus at Cottage Hill Baptist, and tonight I'm going to be buried to raise with him. dedicated my life and tonight I'm finally going to. My name is Rhonda Renee Shook and I just want a closer walk with God. Mm. 
My name is Melissa Renee Bone, and I love Jesus with all my heart. Pastor Santos is coming to lead us in prayer. Pastor Santos. How many believe this is a joyful noise tonight? Give the Lord. Yes. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. How many like a new song? Yes. Praise God. I tell you, I have enjoyed these vineyard songs, haven't you? And I, uh, Lindell songs. I think we changed them to Lindell songs. They are great. And they're anointed, and, and I love them. And we're learning them at our church and being blessed. Sing unto the Lord, bless his name, show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen his wonders among all the people. For the Lord is great. How many believe that? Amen. Praise God. Give him a good hand. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. That is true, isn't it? Give unto the Lord, all ye kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Oh, don't you love that? Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Let's give him a good hand clap. And pray. 